Hi guys, today I'm going to be completing the barista career story. This is the quickest career story there is, as there are only five levels. But before we start that, we need to get Angie a job as a barista. So we're going to head to Parkside, and on the coffee shop you can see the pink suitcase. You need to be controlling the sim that you want to work there. So Angie wants to work there, so I'm controlling her currently. And when I click on the pink suitcase, it says what story should we tell? So the story is the little picture in the middle of the screen. If I click on the question mark, it shows you the prizes you unlock by completing chapters in the barista career. To start the career, we need to click on the picture above where it says the way of the latte and Angie will have joined the barista career. Now the pink suitcase has been replaced by a star so she can now complete career events. When we click on this, it shows you what you can do. So currently the only option is work a quick shift. The next story chapter is currently locked. She needs to reach level two to be able to complete the next chapter. So she's gonna quickly complete this shift. I've sped it up a bit as it is quite repetitive. And now the pink tick has appeared, so that means she's completed that event. A pop-up will appear with all the rewards you've received for completing the event. So we've received experience points, simoleons, career points, this is what you need to level up, and a home ticket. So she needs 30 career points to level up to level 2, and she has received that from completing her first quick shift. So Angie has now been promoted to level 2. Now when we click on the star to see the events we can do, the only one is Become Barista's Apprentice. This is a story chapter. Story chapters unlock prizes. I believe this one unlocks the fridge, but I unlocked it already with a previous sim, so I already have that prize. But when you complete it for the first time, you will unlock the fridge. So we're gonna speed through this one as well. This is slightly longer than the quick shift one, but it still shouldn't take too long. Angie's run out of energy, so I'm gonna send her home and she's gonna have a power nap so she can gain a bit more. My major pet peeve with this game is the sims you can't control. You can see the child there just standing in the bathroom. So that means that Angie can't use the toilet or the shower currently to get energy because of the child standing there. You have to wait for them to leave on their own accord before you can actually use those objects, which is quite frustrating, really. So we've completed that chapter then you get those little pop-ups with a little bit of story. This isn't the most exciting one. Apparently the medical career has a really good twist ending. I haven't finished that one yet so I'm going to see when I get there. But all the other careers are 10 levels instead of 5 so it takes a lot longer to finish them. So we completed that chapter and we've moved on to the next one now. Before I start the next event, I'm just going to place the mug rack and the sign. These both give you a head start in the event once they are placed in the coffee shop. So I'll show you how they work in a second, I'm just going to place them first. I believe these unlock when you level up. I definitely unlocked the mug rack the first time I completed this. I'm not sure about the sign though. When we click on the star now, you'll see the first option, it says become latte artisan. So that is the next story chapter. That doesn't unlock until we reach level three. But you can also see now we've unlocked the standard shift, which takes longer to complete, but you will earn more career points. 
and simoleons. I'm currently going to just stick with the quick shifts and use a few cupcakes to get through them until we reach level 3. So we've just completed that quick shift and it shows that we need 90 career points to level up to level 3. So I'm going to complete one more quick shift and we will reach that level. Now we've placed the mug rack and the sign. When you click to start an event you will get some stars appear before you begin. These are bonus points from those items which give you a head start in events. I would really recommend placing them as they are really helpful. It means you use less energy as it's already filled up part of the bar for you. That quick shift is done and Angie has been promoted to level 3, which means become Latin artisan. The next story chapter is unlocked, so we can now start this event and complete that one. This one's quite long, but the story chapters tend to be. That's another chapter complete. I think you earn the microwave if you complete this story chapter. I've unlocked that already, so the pop-up doesn't appear for me, but it will for you the first time you complete it. The last one, the coffee machine, definitely unlocks at level five. When we click on the star now, it says Become True Brewer, which is the next story chapter, which unlocks at level five. So I'm gonna do another quick shift. Now that's complete, we can see how many points we need to reach the next level. I think it'd be really helpful if we could see that from the CM info panel. To reach level 4, we need 210 career points. I've got time right now to keep doing some quick shifts, and I've got enough cupcakes to keep me going for a while. But obviously you could do a longer option, you can do the standard shift, and then come back on the game when it's complete to collect the reward if you don't have enough energy.
You rejoin me when we've got 180 career points. I've skipped out some of them as it was quite long and very repetitive. So one more quick shift, we'll take Angie to level four. We still need to reach level five to be able to complete the next story chapter. So I'm gonna do another quick shift. Now we can see how many points we need to level up again and we need 330 so i think i'm going to stop doing quick shifts and go for the standard ones as i can earn 90 career points instead of 30. so you could put them on to do a standard shift and then come back after it's been complete or you can complete it yourself I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. I currently have 240 career points. So one more standard shift will level energy up to level 5. And now Angie has reached level five. She has unlocked a new outfit. I think you unlock other outfits as you level up, but as I already reached the other levels before with a previous sim, I've already unlocked them. So now Angie is in the highest level in the barista career. The last thing to do to complete this is complete the story chapter. 
Become True Barista is the next story chapter, so we're going to click to start this event. And it is complete. She is now an expert in everything latte. And can now draw llamas on coffee. So the story is complete. And as the chapter is complete, I have unlocked the Rise and Shine Coffee Maker. So these are the pop-ups you get when you complete the other chapters for the fridge and the microwave. But this was the only one that I hadn't unlocked already. These are items to go in your Sims house. They aren't to put in the coffee shop. Now when I go to careers, it says one of seven career stories complete. And when we click on it, it shows you the prizes that we've unlocked. I will try to make a video for each career, hobby and relationship story there is, but it could take a while. Thanks for watching. Bye.